Let's see. Uh, I don't know if we were able to talk to Banger. Uh, Banger, are you up? Yeah, I'm up. Um, Check. How are you feeling right now? Uh, are, are you thinking about mixing stuff up for this last run? Yeah, you know, the, the kind of the standard things that we do as fighter pilots are not working, right? So for this last one, I'll try to change it up a little bit um, just to see if we can do something different. Um, you know, that initial turn is what's getting it uh, where I lose a lot of life there. So still not able to fully avoid the WES. Uh, you know, with these initial starting parameters, it makes it that separation out to 8,000 feet is uh, probably going to happen 7,000, 8,000 feet. So I just got to look to opportunities to minimize that distance separation away from the adversary, try to get him back in so I can press inside or stay outside of his, uh, his kind of nose area there. So we'll try to do something a little bit different on this last one. And we'll have fun no matter what happens. All right. Thanks, Banger. Over to you. Absolutely impressive work here, both out of Banger and out of our Heron agent, not struggling down there at the floor as we saw some of our other agents earlier today uh, having to deal with. Just inside at 3,000 feet, looks like he's uh, Heron saddling up and with the kill. And again, more of just that superhuman aiming ability that we're seeing out of Heron in this simulated environment, able to just follow that other airplane along, even through defensive types of maneuvers. Absolutely amazing. Uh, if you're joining us, we've just wrapped up the human versus AI uh, finals where uh, Banger uh, went up against Heron Systems, our ADT champion in five neutral sets. Do you think someone with gaming experience would do better? Probably. Yeah, I, I think they would. They would have all of that implicit knowledge of you know how to control the aircraft to its maximum effect within the the sim or within the game would be there. You know, Banger. I think he we, he came by last week to kind of uh, well we got the helmet from from Animal back there. Um, but Banger came by with Animal and he wanted to meet the guys that embarrassed him. <laughs> and, uh, He's a going to be a nicer guy, and, and we had a good long chat about, uh, you know, how his experiences went, and he's the first to say, you know, he got what two days worth of training in the sim or mm -hmm. something like that. So he was he wasn't even like a, a good gamer; he was practically a, a newbie. So, um, you know, he I think he held his own. He just, uh, you know, a gamer might have a better chance. Uh, well, well, not saying they'd win, but they'd have a chance. Well, well why don't we try it? Why, why, why don't we try that? And how about the winner of the Folds of Honor Fight for Honor 2020 fights Falco in X-Plane? Yeah, that sounds like a fun challenge. Um, obviously, we'd have to, like we said, keep it in X-Plane, but we can do that. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We'd, so, be, we'd love to partner with you, and it's a great cause. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, throw a, we'll throw a donation to Folds of Honor. And, and, that's awesome. And, and then stand ready and waiting to challenge whomever worldwide thinks they've got what it takes. Three, two, one, fight off. What's up, everybody? It's Mover with exciting news and an update for the Folds of Honor Fight for Honor 2020 DCS tournament. If you haven't signed up already, check it out, foh.org slash fight for honor or cwlemoyne.com slash fight for honor. Uh, you can sign up today. The tournament starts on the 26th of September and finals will be the first weekend of October. Uh, we've added two new prizes today, the first being the Point Control Complete Kit. Point Control has just recently signed on as a sponsor. That's worth $175. It's everything you need to start truly interacting with your 3D clickable aircraft cockpit. It includes one helmet-mounted sensor, two finger control units, two USB FCU chargers, one 10-foot micro USB cable and a charging and storage case. We really appreciate them signing up for this worthy cause. And also, uh, in case you missed it, on Mondays with Mover Live, I interviewed Heron Systems, and if you're not familiar with them, they created Falco, the AI that won the Alpha Dogfight Trials. They have agreed to fight the winner of the Folds of Honor Fight for Honor 2020 DCS tournament with Falco in X-Plane 11. That's the only caveat. It has to be done in X-Plane 11. The AI is set up for that world and all the servers and stuff are set up for X-Plane 11. So you have to have X-Plane 11 in order to fight Falco, but uh, it's a really good opportunity. The winner will get to fight uh, Falco and prove whether flight simmers are better at this than 
uh, real fighter pilots thrust into the VR world. So it should be really exciting. We'll live stream that event as well. But even if you think you're not going to win, please sign up anyway. It's for a worthy cause. Folds of Honor. They do educational scholarships for the fallen or wounded in combat. It is a worthy cause that I highly support. And if you don't want to participate, please consider going to that foh.org slash fight for honor and leaving a donation in the name of the tournament. It helps support the tournament uh, and just show that we're able to raise money for a good cause. So it is a good thing. 100% uh, of the proceeds of this tournament will go towards Folds of Honor as well. So really exciting stuff. Very thankful for Heron Systems for signing on board as part of the tournament as well as Point Control. Uh, and then all the other prizes that I mentioned in the last video still stand. So please sign up. Please give to Folds of Honor. Uh, can't wait. We'll start live streaming. Uh, on the Sunday. So the first day won't be live stream, but Sunday we'll start live streaming some of the events. And then the finals on the la first weekend of October will be live streamed on both Twitch and YouTube. So pretty exciting stuff. Can't wait to do it. Uh, sign up today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Good luck and figure out how not to get shot in the face. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, for the tournament itself, I mean, you guys just won a tournament. Do you have any advice for those that are entering how to successfully win a tournament like that as winners yourself? I was thinking about this because I wanted to uh, enter into the uh, tournament also for DCS. That would be I'm hilarious terrible. if you fought your own AI, but go on. <laughs> No, uh, I'll good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to lose the first engagement, I'm sure. But um, vertical merge, like go high yeah. after the initial merge. See that every time. And then, of course, uh, know how to control your energy like perfectly without looking at any of your instruments and never miss. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good talk. Kill your enemy, kill and survive. It's the first objective. Excuse me, oh, no. Oh! oh I've a lot of them. Oh, I'm not fine with the doors off. All fox Don't be a douche. Rule number one. Make them tell you now.